Hello, everyone. My name is Tim Aanhanen. And on behalf of Line and Jar Technologies from the Netherlands, I will be telling you something about silicon anodes. Silicon anodes are key to improving energy density of lithium ion batteries. And Leiden Jar has found a unique way to develop these silicon anodes. Improving the energy density of lithium ion uh, batteries is key to enable growth of some, some industries that are heavily reliant on battery power. We're looking at wearables, consumer electronics, electric vehicles, and aviation. All these industries are only able to grow sustainably when we will be improving lithium ion batteries and the capacities in these batteries. Growth of these te uh, technologies and these industries will not be possible with our current generation of batteries and the current growth of the capacity and the performance of these batteries. We'll need better batteries to have a sustainable future with battery power technology around us. And silicon anodes is a way to further improve our current batteries in a disruptive way. How does that work? Well, current energy density of um, batteries is limited by the anode. Cathode uh, developments are often common. Um, however, the graphite anodes that currently are part of lithium ion batteries um, have a theoretical capacity in the amount of lithium ions they can store. And that theoretical capacity has already for quite some time has been reached in our current batteries. Moving to silicon as a material for anodes instead of graphite actually multiplies this uh, amount of lithium ions the anode can store by a tenfold. This means the anode can get 10 times thinner in the batteries, and we can buy, make, we can make batteries that have a higher capacity or are even smaller. And this is the innovation that Lime Jar is currently working on and is bringing to the market this year. Lime Jar is situated in the Netherlands and uh, has been founded in 2016 uh, from a failed PV experiment. The production method of Lime Jar to make silicon anodes. Um, was established in 2016. And at the moment, we're working with 45 people across two locations in the Netherlands to further improve this technology and bring it to the market. In Eindhoven in the Netherlands, we have our production facility uh, with our unique PECVD process. And in Leiden, we have our battery lab. And there we analyze the performance of the batteries and we create sample batteries uh, to communicate with customers for application purposes. How does our process work? So we actually have a, a quite unique one-step process uh, to create uh, silicon anodes. And it's a dry uh, anode production process. In this process, a roll of bare copper foil is unwinded in our production tool. And after moving through the, the tool, which uses PECVD, it's wind it again with a silicon deposition of around 10 microns thick, which is a very, very thin um, electrode layer. We can either ship this roll with silicon deposition directly to our customers, or we can cut it into sheets and then cut it into electrodes and make pouch cells of this. We make pouch cells uh, primarily next to coin cells uh, to uh, show the performance of ourselves and improve the performance. Uh, we are also moving to uh, cylindrical cells uh, in the near future. So this is our production tool. Um, we, call, we call it a roll code, the PECVD production. And the PECVD stands for Plasma Enhanced Chemical Vapor Deposition. To the left and to the right, you see vacuum chambers in which the copper roll, which it gets unwinded in the middle, goes through these vacuum chambers and a silicon, uh, silicon particles get deposited, deposited on this copper, fo copper foil. Uh, as it has two vacuum chambers, uh, we can gain a high speed of production here in this roll code, and we can also get a double-sided deposition. 
a gas mixture is used in this vacuum chamber to make a plasma and to have a deposition of the silicon on the copper foil. The speed of this process is related to the input of the electricity in this process. And as we have a one-step process compared to the four or five-step process of conventional um, wet slurry anode production, we actually have quite a, um, a easy fit with existing uh, gigafactories and the speed of the production can increase. Uh, there are less uh, variables to cope with. Um, it's a simpler process and that's actually quite scalable. Um, and with this one-step process that doesn't need any heating, drying, calendar, this process uses um, significantly less electricity as compared to the wet process, white, uh, wet anode process of um, graphite anode production. Using silicon, which is a very clean and abundant material, uh, instead of graphite, and the reduction of this electricity in the project production process, we are able to reduce the CO2 emissions in our anode production process of, with 85%. This excludes the use of our anodes in um, sustainable industries like EV or electric aviation. So our anode, well, when you look at it very closely, looks kind of like this. And here I can show you how the swelling of the silicon actually gets um, gets countered. Because we have a we have a, with our production process, we create a porous-like structure. It's kind of like a cauliflower. And the silicon is able to swell within the porosity of the material. And as, the, as some columns are formed, also within the columns and between the columns, swelling can, be, um, can, can happen. Uh, and in that way, the, the full silicon layer doesn't swell that much. And it can be applied in, um, in lithium ion batteries with a decent cycle life. We produce these, uh, this, this silicon anode material now into sample cells, but we mo mostly focus on the production of silicon anode foil. Uh, therefore, we work with cell manufacturers to further develop this silicon anode material into cells. Um, but also in the future, we will be selling and licensing our production platform in such a way that cell manufacturers can um, use our unique and patented production process themselves in a cell uh, manufacturing gigafactory. So what kind of performance do we reach now? Uh, we get reach a performance of 1400 watt hours per liter on sack level. Uh, this is a 70% increase compared to current state-of-the-art lithium ion batteries with graphite anodes. Um, as the cycle life has been improved in the last, uh, last year, we currently reach a decent cycle life of 400 cycles, and we expect to move to 800, 1,000 cycles next year. Rate capability is actually something that we can, um, we have quite a benefit on, as we are able to produce very, very thin anode layers of only 10 microns thick. So at the moment, we have proven 2 to 5C, and we expect to move to 10C soon. Pouch cells are the most uh, common uh, cell format that we do a liver on, and we make one and a half amp hour sample cells uh, ourselves. And we work with partners to further develop cylindrical cells and larger format cells up to 100 amp hours, um, also in the coming 12 months. So at the moment, we're rolling out this technology uh, with partners uh, to make sure that we have the first applications ready. And we're open, also open to, to working with more partners, cell manufacturers or OEMs, uh, to get this high energy density anode into the market. So if you have any questions, please feel free, out to, uh, feel free to reach out to me and get in contact with us either on our website, lineandjar.com uh, or directly to me. Uh, happy to meet you all here.